Hey, how's it going? This is Mike Pyatt from Triple Your Traffic, as my t-shirt conveniently says, and I have some important, critical, need-to-know information that I want to share with you today. And that's why we're in what's known as the chalk room right now, just a fun place where we work and we can write creative ideas and principles. We even upgraded to a whiteboard. And I got this camera set up, that way I can shoot from this angle. I'm on my GoPro right now. But then I also have the screen share on as well, that way I can record the slides and I can show you some real live examples as well. All this set up so I can reveal the exact simple three-step formula to be in the top spots in Google for more traffic, which then the traffic turns into more leads and of course more sales to grow your business. Now. The thing is, just knowing how to get number one for the top spots in Google is just one piece of the equation. There's actually two other pieces that we need to go over, which I'm going to reveal in this very video. And at the end of this video, if you like me and you liked what I shared, and after getting to know the strategy, then we can talk about moving forward in what I call a free SEO traffic getting action plan, where I and my staff We'll build out a custom made plan for you, detailing out exactly what you need to get number one in Google. Now, and first, we need to go over the material. So without further ado, let's begin now. Like I mentioned, there are three critical elements that you need to have in place to the top spots in Google consistently in a profitable way, which we're going to call these critical elements pillars for this conversation. Without these three pillars, the top rankings in Google will most likely never happen. So let's get into these now. The first pillar is to realize. It's to realize that there are patterns. Google is an algorithmic computer formula. There are certain elements that create results. Just like a recipe. You do things one way, you get one result. You do things another way, you get a different result. There is a specific recipe to be in the top spots in Google. Or like Tony Robbins says, success leaves clues. People that are successful have certain common traits. Sure, each individual has certain different traits and whatnot, but there are patterns, as there are patterns with being the top spots in Google. So now let me pull up three different businesses that I and my company ranked in the top spots in Google using the exact same patterns, strategies, and method that I'm going to reveal to you in this very video. So you can see these patterns for yourself. One of the first businesses main keyword is personal trainer Ann Arbor. It went from nowhere in Google to number two, both regular and organic on the Google maps in a huge city of Ann Arbor, right by Detroit, Michigan, all using the same patterns and methods in this very video. The increased positions in Google led to more traffic and a ton more monthly clients growing his business exponentially. He actually had to set up a bigger gym location because of this and business has never been better. Now onto the second one, is for the keyword two-story exhibits. While not searched quite as much, a two-story trade show exhibit can sell from anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000. So after this keyword was ranked, just a few sales for this business made this SEO campaign super profitable within the first 90 days and still is to this very day. The third one is from my own company, Triple Your Traffic, and the keyword is Michigan SEO. We actually ranked this YouTube video in just under 30 days, and I wanted to share this one specifically because I know firsthand what a big part SEO has been in helping me grow my own business, and therefore I get to help a lot of other people grow their businesses as well through SEO. So. The first pillar is to realize that there are very specific similar patterns to all these success stories I just showed. And I'll reveal the same patterns that these three examples use to get to the top spots throughout this video. Now that we have those examples up and ready to use, let's now dive into the next critical pillar for being in the top spots in Google for your own business to have a consistent, profitable lead source for you and your business. It's not only enough to know that there are patterns, we must know what those patterns are, which is pillar number two, know what the patterns are to the top spots. Because if we know these patterns, then we can recreate those patterns on our own content that we want in the top spots in Google to generate massive amounts of leads, sales, and business growth consistently. So there's three parts of this pattern or what we can call the Google ranking formula. The first part of this formula is knowing your keywords that you wanna rank for which the process for doing this is known as keyword research, finding all the best high converting keywords with enough search volume per month to generate at least 10 times return on investment to what it costs to rank. 
This process involves using keywords tools, thinking about what buyers are searching for, calculating, estimating the ROI, etc which actually is all pretty easy to some degree once you know how. So difficulty out of 10, 10 being the hardest, keyword research is actually about one. Although somewhat easy to do once you know how, this is still a critical piece to know your keywords, to get the right keywords to increase the conversions and ensure you make enough ROI to make the SEO campaign worth it in the first place. Now onto the second part of this formula is relevant. The reason why Google wants you to know your keywords is because they want the most relevant content to what the searcher is searching for. That way the user says, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And then comes back and tells friends and then more people come back to using Google and more likely to click Google's ads, which then of course Google makes money from. Now the process of making your content relevant is known as on-page optimization. We'll look at our three examples and see simple patterns of these. For the first keyword, personal trainer Ann Arbor, we can see that the key phrases are in the meta title and it's known as the meta description. We can click the site and see the content is about that keyword as well. And then to the next example, we can see the keywords two story exhibit again in the meta title and description. We can click on that site and the content has about those keywords as well has a YouTube video, etc. And the next one, while it's not a site for Michigan SEO, it's a YouTube video, it still has those same patterns. As you can see the keywords in the title and description, we click the video and the video page has the title and description, tags, and is about the content, making it relevant. So there are patterns, as you can see, to these top rankings in Google. And this process of on-page optimization to make the content relevant is actually, again, somewhat easy once you know how. Most business owners or anyone doing SEO can usually get this part of the formula right. It's about a two in difficulty, I'd say. Again, although simple to do, very critical piece to the formula to be even considered in the top spots in Google. Now onto the third piece of the formula. Because the thing is, there's thousands and thousands and tons of content will be made relevant for the exact same keywords. So how does Google know which content to place first, second, and third, and so on? Well, Google not only wants the most relevant content, but also wants the most popular content. So that's the third part of this formula, making the content the best or most popular. Because if the user finds the relevant content but isn't satisfied with it, he or she most likely won't come back, leading to Google making less money, and that's not what they want. So they want the most relevant and the most popular. So the question is, how does Google know what is the most popular content? Well, there are many factors, but the biggest factor in determining popularity is links. Google knows that if a website is popular, it's most likely to get linked by other websites. You can think of the metaphor links are like votes. More votes win election, and in this case, they win being the top spots. But that metaphor is a bit outdated because Google only counts certain types of links, which we'll get to in just a moment. Now, this is where the process of getting links, known as off-page promotion, gets a lot harder in the formula. We're talking about a 10 here or above in difficulty compared to the one or two with keyword research and making it relevant. So what you need to know and to lay the foundation is that there are four types of links that need to be built to be in the top spots in Google. The first one is Web 2.0 links. These type of links or sites are essentially free website builder platforms that anyone can create, such as WordPress, Weebly, Tumblr, just some examples you may have heard of. These are professionally built Web 2.0s that help increase rankings by creating site and anchor text diversity to keep things natural because Google is always on the lookout for over-optimization and suppresses those rankings. So having these Web 2.0s creates some diversity. The second type of link is citations. These are local business listings such as Yelp, YP.com, Google My Business, Foursquare, etc. Places you can list anyone's business like an online phone book. Most real businesses have citations, and Google wants to rank the real businesses and avoid the spammers. So citations help build trust, which then equals higher rankings with Google. And it just makes sense. The more popular business is, it will just naturally be listed in more business citations and listings. Also, citations play a big influence factor in the local snack pack, the local listings, which is Google's local listings, which right above the map for some local searches. The third type of link is social signals. 
These are digital signals from when someone shares a link of anything on any social media site, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, etc. Think about it. Most popular sites get shared on social media websites, and Google wants to rank the most popular content. So it just makes sense to get more social signals. But regardless of if it makes sense or not, it works to help boost the rankings. Now on to the last type of links we're going to talk about, which are called authority links. These types of links are the most powerful and by far the most effective in ranking the content in the top positions in Google. Authoritative links are essentially links from other powerful websites linking to that website and then that authority website links to the target content that we want to rank in Google. Now, remember the metaphor that links are like votes, but not all votes are created equal. Authoritative links are counted much more than just the regular link. So the more authoritative links pointing to a site signals that this content is popular, which then Google wants to rank in the top spots. So with authority links being a huge piece of the off-page promotion part of the ranking formula, the question is then, how do we get these high-quality authority links? Well, there's two paths you can take here. The first path that most people try to take is called guest post or outreach, which is essentially finding the top relevant authoritative sites and then asking them to link to your site, saying something along the lines of, I have the very best content for your users. You know, will you put a link on your site to mine? Your users are just going to love it. You know, something like that. Except that's what everyone is doing. Everyone says they have the very best content for the users and the success rate of this path is extremely low. I mean, think about it. When sending out these emails to all these authority sites, does your email message even get past the spam filter? If they see the email, do they even open it? If they open it, are they compelled to put a link to your site versus everyone else's? Will they keep the link on the site or does it end up getting removed down the line? And the page where you're actually getting that link posted to your website, is that page even authority or is it just some back-end page that's not really connected and therefore not passing any ranking power or link juice and pretty much useless? So with this path, the control is out of the person's hands because they're relying on others to say yes and a lot of other factors just to fall in place. Now, the good news is there's another way where someone can create their own empire of authority websites and link out to whatever content they want, all within a short time frame for an affordable price and get many of these high quality authority links every single month until you're the top spots in Google for your target keywords to grow your business. And I'll actually reveal a lot more about how to get these high powered authority links consistently in the free SEO action plan that I mentioned in the beginning of this video and I'll invite you to at the end of this video. First, I want to recap real quickly what we just went over, aka what Google wants, aka the Google ranking formula, which is one, knowing your keywords, two, having the most relevant high converting content in place, and three, using all four types of links, especially the high authoritative links in a supernatural way to make it the best popular content. This all equals being the top spots in Google. The thing is, Google can't help but rank your content in the top spots because you are giving them everything they want and need. So that's pillar number two of three, to know exactly what Google wants in the top spots. Now let's go on to pillar number three, the final pillar. The final pillar is to act. You see, it's not just enough to have pillar number one, which was to realize that there are patterns, and even pillar number two, which was to know the patterns, we must also act, take action on these, put these patterns in place to be in the top spots in Google, but not just act in any way act in a systematic fashion to make it happen predictably, affordably, and most efficiently. Most people and SEO companies get this wrong, leading to their SEO strategy crashing and wasting a ton of money and precious time. But hey, that's why I'm sharing this very important experience and information with you now. So we must master this third pillar, which involves only three simple elements, which the first one is a proven plan. We must first plan it out. As the old saying goes, those that fail to plan, plan to fail. So before we start each SEO campaign, we plan it out, starting with what exactly is needed. And what is needed is to have all the three parts of the Google ranking formula in place. 
So we create a plan first by breaking it down to the three parts of the Google ranking formula. First, do we have the keywords in place? We need those since those are the foundation of the SEO campaign. Then, after choosing the best converting high search volume keywords comes on-page optimization part. Is there content in place that we can optimize or do we need to create the content? What about the YouTube video? Is that in place or do we need to create it? And how many of each are needed? One, two, three, etc. We then analyze the top spots for the target keywords and determine what it will take to outrank them. Specifically, how many each link type is needed high authority, web 2.0, citations, and social signals. That way we can assure the right amount of links and the different types of links are all getting built. Then we add up the cost to make sure the project is within a super cost-effective affordable budget, while of course still getting everything in place to be in the top spots in Google quickly as possible. And by the way, in the free SEO action plan, that I'm going to explain at the end of this video, like I mentioned earlier, I'm actually going to start this plan for you. I can do the keyword research for you and I'll fill out this entire plan for you so know exactly what you need, exact amount of links, exact types to get in the top spots in Google. And I'll budget out for you and then I'll explain this all live. And I'll invite you to schedule that meeting in just a moment. First, we need to finish going over the rest of the final pillar, which involves going into the next two elements which the next element is predictable procedures. We must take action using proven methods we know work versus just what we hear or think will work. My team and I have spent an enormous amount of time, the last seven years to be exact, decoding, testing, and meticulously refining the process. We have an entire system built out to do this in a predictable and most efficient way possible. We're talking about documents with every single need to know information and action steps detailed out and checklist upon checklist to ensure everything gets done because there's just so much that goes into an SEO campaign. We actually use Google Drive to document everything and we are always keeping up to date with Google's ever changing algorithm because as you know, the rate of change and improvement is only increasing. We are building on a principle-based strategy here for quicker and long-term results that have proven to produce top Google rankings and huge ROI for years. So build out the system or take advantage of a company that has super smart people who actually took the time to document, organize, and systematize it all. So it happens more effectively, more predictably, and more efficiently. So you're doing great. We're on the home stretch here of the final element of the last pillar. And for that final element to this pillar is what we're going to call fast feedback. We must plan, act strategically, but we must also have feedback to know if it's working and at what speed. Without feedback, it's like flying a plane blind. It's not going to end well. Or as the old quote goes, what you can't measure, you can't improve. That's why we always use two types of feedback. So the first is key metrics, which are current positions in Google for the target keyword, which then affects the traffic or visitors to your site. And then of course it affects the leads and sales because this is really what it's all about. So we must know if the SEO campaign is producing the ROI and measuring these three main metrics. And then the other type of feedback we measure is work done. So work done as in the pages being created, being optimized, the links being built out correctly, etc. And then there's two time frames for both types of feedback and reporting. There's the real time. So we actually set up the system so we and our clients can see rankings real time, traffic and leads and sales real time. That way we don't have to wait till the end of 30 days or so. And we do the same thing with the work done feedback type. We can also see that real time. We give our clients access to a Google spreadsheet that we use to keep track of the entire SEO campaign, record the work done, again, the links built, win in a way that's natural, login details, etc. So everyone who needs to see this on the SEO campaign can see real time progress of work done. So whoever is doing the SEO campaign, whether you are personally doing it or whatever company or person, there must be fast feedback feedback of the key metrics along with the work done and both need to be available to see updates in real time to know if the SEO campaign is successful or not. So to recap this last final pillar, 
There needs to be a proven plan in place, refined, predictable processes ready to be used to get everything done consistently in the most affordable and cost-effective way and with fast feedback system in place to monitor it all. Now, zooming out to recap the three pillars that we talked about here is the first pillar, we must realize that there are patterns. And the second pillar, knowing the patterns, which are the most relevant and popular content, relevant knowing the keywords for on-page optimization and the best popular getting the four link types and the amount of high-powered authoritative links all in a supernatural way, making it the best popular content. And then three, in a systematic fashion. Know exactly what will be done, clear actions, and feedback on the work done and the key metrics to make sure it's working as best as possible. With all three of these pillars all solid in place and being used, you can achieve being the top spots in Google, creating an extremely profitable lead source. Because remember, People just trust SEO organic listings. Thousands of people are most likely searching for a solution you offer every single day. The question is, are they going to see you? I mean, you can have the best, most amazing product in the world, but if no one sees it, well, then it's not going to do much. Getting number one in Google for your target keywords may just be the answer to get more leads and sales in a long-term, super profitable way. You may have heard some things today that are going to help you achieve that. And by taking advantage of the right systems can save you years of trying to do all the hard work for yourself. That's why I created the free SEO action plan strategy session that I mentioned earlier that I'm really excited to tell you about. This is where we'll get the process started. We'll start using the system. So first, we'll do the keyword research, or if you already have that done, we can at least have a second copy to make sure you have all the right keywords. And then we're gonna fill out that plan that I mentioned earlier, and we're gonna fill it out exactly what you need, exactly how many links, et cetera, to get the top spots in Google. Plus, we'll go over some other need to know critical info and other secrets that I left out in this video just for the sake of time. That will all go over live when you sign up for the free SEO action plan. It's very, very simple. If interested, you just go to tytseo.com forward slash application, and I'll leave a link below this video. So it's really simple. You fill out your name and your email so we know who we're talking to and how to contact you, your phone. That's optional just in case. And also your site and if you have any starting keywords, that way we can analyze and get the keywords started and also your average revenue per sale just so we can calculate that ROI and show you some cool tricks with that as well. So all you have to do is fill that information in and hit the big red button, get free SEO action plan and apply, hit that, and then we'll schedule and we'll get everything started for you and answer any questions you have live. Now, I know I went over a ton of information and this is power for you. Like an old quote that Sir Francis Bacon said, knowledge is power. But knowledge is only potential power. We must take action on it. So you must take action. And like the quote from Morpheus I'm going to end with is that I can only show you the door. You must open it. If you remember from that movie, it's a great quote. So I can only show you the door. You must open it. Now it's your turn. I showed you everything. I gave you my best stuff, everything I can. I showed you how I can help. I show you from my experience what you need to do. You can either take the path, start implementing and getting this all together now to get in the top spots for more leads to grow your business or you can have us help you. The choice is up to you. I hope you choose wisely. And most importantly, I hope you got a ton of value from this video and I hope to talk to you again very soon. This is Mike Pyatt from Triple Your Traffic and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.